Hi there, I'm Heidi Swap, and today I'm going to be showing you my favorite trick with the mink and texture paste, and it's so easy. So I'm going to go to my overhead camera so you can see exactly what I'm doing. Okay, so I kind of just want to give you first up a really close look at how cool this looks. This is texture paste that has been applied using a stencil, and this it's kind of a word stencil that's available at Michael's. And then I've added foil over the top. And the reason why it's so fun is because, I don't know if you can tell, I hope you can tell, you get this really cool kind of dimensional texture effect that just looks awesome. So what I'm using, I have these little, um, they're, it's like a watercolor paper. It's an absorbent paper. I got these at Paper Source. It's the Lux paper in cream. And what I've gone ahead and done is used Color Shine to just create a couple of backgrounds. This one I used a stencil. Um, you can kind of see maybe that little teeny bit of dots on there to create that background. So I just used this stencil with um, some color shine. So now that I have that done, I am going to use this uh, word stencil. Any stencils, stencil is really the best way to use the texture paste. Uh, it's just really easy. So this is this is the white texture paste. I'll show you what it looks like. It says metallic texture paste. There's several colors that are available at Michael's. You can also find it on online. It's in this nice big three ounce tube. And I have just put some down here on my nonstick mat. Make sure that you're using a craft mat uh, just so that you don't ruin anything. Um, and then I'm also using a scraper. This comes with my art screens, but it's nice and handy. You can use any type of kind of flat surface. So you can see that I'm just picking up a portion of the texture paste. I have positioned this stencil, it's kind of halfway on, halfway off, and I'm just going to apply the texture paste right over the stencil. And the key is to just get like a nice, even distribution of the texture paste. Um, make sure that you get it in all the grooves. I'm kind of seeing a couple that I missed. And um, that's all there is to it. So I'm going to set this aside and let it dry. While I'm waiting, I'm going to kind of just scoop up the rest of this. And go ahead, and I'm going to fill this one in all the way. You can see that you do kind of use quite a bit of texture paste as you fill in your stencil. All right. There's that one. Let that dry. All right, this last example I want to give you is just with this particular stencil. I'm going to go ahead and just kind of use a little bit of washi tape to tape off the other words so that I can just focus on one of the words here. So really easy, quick tape off job. I just happen to have some nice I love you washi tape and that will, oh, I didn't do an awesome job. So I'm going to try to pick that up. Any remnant of that is actually going to interact with my foil. So now that I have all three of these with texture paste added, I need to let them dry completely before I run them through the mink. So I'm going to hang out here and let them dry. OK, all of my pieces are dry now. Um, I just want to point out, if you use a heat tool, can you see these little teeny bubbles that happen right in the texture paste? If you do use a heat tool, um, sometimes it will kind of bubble up. I like to let it dry all by itself so that you get a nice smooth um, finish on the texture paste. All right, I'm going to go ahead and open up this carrier sheet. And I'm going to tell you, I'm going to pop all three of them in here. Here's what's important, is that we've got to make sure that none of the texture paste is exposed. Otherwise, it could melt onto the carrier sheet. 
So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use the gold foil on that one. I'm going to use the white foil on this one and maybe a little bit more gold foil. So if you notice, as I have it all in here, I've, I, I have it layered, um, but I make sure that the foil that I want to transfer into the project is directly touching the project that I want it to transfer to. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and send this through the mink on a three setting. This has come through, and I'm just gonna go ahead and lift each of these. It just <laughs> looks awesome. All right, so here you can see really close. So I did get a little bit of texture paste that kind of transferred, but I think it adds to the charm. Looks really, really cool. And um, let me show you the white one. The white is, oh, looks like <laughs> I got these stuck together. There we go. The white is fun because it's a really opaque white and uh, it's just a really cool effect that you get, that textured effect. And then here's the other one and I, as I mentioned, I kind of got a little bit of goopy down here um, and so that transfers. So it really does pick up everywhere on the texture paste, but I still think that it's a really cool effect. So that is literally all it takes. Just a little bit of texture paste, a stencil, some mink, and these amazing results. So if you like what you see, give me a thumbs up. Be sure that you subscribe down below so that you don't miss a thing. Grab some texture paste and make pretty stuff.